You're listening to Brian Sussman on Hot Talk 560 KSFO. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the idiot reel. We take all of the goofy, stupid, dumb things said by politicians and celebrities over the course of this week and jam them together in a reel. Today, Obama, Sting, Obama, Tim Geithner, Obama, Erskine Bowles, Representative Steve Israel, Bill Ayers, Al Sharpton, Janet Napolitano, Al Sharpton, and Obama. Ladies and gentlemen, today's idiot reel. Hello, everybody. Today I'd like to talk with you about the important role each of us will play in 2010, a role that began more than three years ago when we set out on an incredible journey to change this country for the better. Well, you can, you can see the enthusiasm out there, and people are here to really tell big government that we want big government to make big decisions about the most important problems we face, and, uh, and also to pressure corporations to behave properly as consumers, but we're here to, we're asking for big government, basically. You want big government? Yeah, of course we do. This is a huge problem, and only, only governments can solve it. You know, the man in the street can do a little bit, but big governments me- need to make decisions. We need to stop clear-cutting forests. We need to protect the forest. That's the simplest way of, of cutting greenhouse gases. Indeed, our failure to act responsibly at the federal level will only open the door to irresponsibility by others. And that includes, for example, the recent efforts in Arizona, which threatened to undermine basic notions of fairness that we cherish as Americans, as well as the trust between police and their communities that is so crucial to keeping us safe. In fact, I've instructed members of my administration to closely monitor the situation and examine the civil rights and other implications of this legislation. But if we continue to fail to act at a federal level, we will continue to see misguided efforts opening up around the country. What I say is I never had a real job. I, you know, I basically almost right out of graduate school came and worked as a very junior public servant at the Treasury uh, and spent my entire professional life since in some form of you know, policy job. We're not, we're not trying to push financial reform uh, because we begrudge success that's fairly earned. I mean, I, I do think at a certain point you've made enough money. There are many good arguments that you can make for a value-added tax or a consumption tax as opposed to a tax on, on wages. But I think it's just one of the things that ought to be on the table that we ought to discuss. I'm not for taking anything off the table. Climate change is a national security issue. Uh, clean air and water is a national security issue. Reducing carbon is a national security issue. Pure oceans is a national security issue. And so the NRDC, the defense part of NRDC, the NRDC is about defense. And the best way to secure defense is to make sure you're living in a planet that is stable and secure and that provides what people need every day in their lives. We were never a terrorist organization, and that is because we never threatened uh, to kill people. We never killed people. Uh, We did destroy property, and we answered for those things. I know that what we stood for was against war and against racism. That's what we built the movement around in the 60s, and we need an anti-war movement today more desperately than ever. I do think that there is a very clear moral issue here and a question of what America is going to stand for. Uh, I agree uh, with Richard Cohen, who I don't always agree with. We cannot be a nation of of people walking around with papers. And we certainly can't have people targeted based on who they are. I've walked that border. I've ridden that border. I've flown it. I've driven it. I know that border, I think, as well as as anyone. Do you think it's secure? And and I will tell you, it is as secure now as it has uh, ever been. And I think that the misconception, this is not a fight for illegal immigrants. This is a fight for legal immigrants and legal citizens who are Latino who are going to be harassed and pulled aside and and profiled. It will be up to each of you to make sure that the young people, African Americans, Latinos, and women who powered our victory in 2008 stand together once again. Ladies and gentlemen, the idiot reel for a Friday. What a great way to close out the program. Oh, boy. (laughs) There's some gems there, aren't there? And, of course, this will no doubt make it on the YouTube. We've got a great listener, Irene, who always posts these on YouTube, and she ends up getting it on my Facebook page. And, Irene, we love you for it, sister. Thank you very much.